DJ Academics has threatened to bring down the entire rap industry and his public response to being sued for Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this about everybody in the industry. I'm going to tell y'all all this right now. If act ever goes down, y'all all go down with me. Because I hold no secrets for nobody. Academics has been named in a civil suit filed by a woman in Excess County, New Jersey, who accused him of both and defamination. According to court documents, the controversial podcaster, real name Livingston Allen, was sued in Excess County, New Jersey by his ex-girlfriend, Zaya Abashi. The case was filed on Monday, May 13th by Abashi's attorney, Tyrone Blackburn. Academics insinuated that the lawsuit was filed due to his reporting on Diddy's legal troubles as Abashi shares a lawyer with the mogul sexual assault accuser, Lil Rod. Do you know who's the lawyer representing Whoever against me, y'all know the lawyer? Who y'all think that lawyer is? Could it be a lawyer that I've covered? Maybe with like about three, four Diddy cases. Maybe with the TI case. Could it be a lawyer that not so long ago, I did a stream putting up on the screen saying that lawyer might be out here trying to shake people down for money? Could it be that lawyer that's representing in this case I'm asking a question. Could it be that lawyer? In the suit, Abashi alleged that in July 2022, academics invited her to his house where two of his friends drugged her, got her forcibly drunk, <laughs> her. Following that, she recalls being awake and naked in the bed in what she believed was Mr. Allen's bedroom. She believed this was around 4 a.m. She was awoken by Mr. Allen savagely pulling her hair, prying open her legs, raping her. Her lawyer would go on to say Mr. Allen and his two accomplices sexual assault severely injured Miss Abashi, causing significant physical and psychological pain and suffering, loss of dignity, and invasion of her privacy, she wrote in the lawsuit. Mr. Allen's public statements added to the harm Miss Abashi was already silently suffering with. Abashi also told the courts about breaking her silence about the accusations in December 2023 when she went on Instagram Live and described in excruciating detail the Alleged sexual assault. I look crazy right now, but I'm not gonna stand here and let this man continue to lie about me. That's not what happened, academics. You know that that's not what happened. And for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, that I just went to your house and I'm just some thought, like we didn't know each other for two years. You tried to save yourself after your friends assaulted me. Whether or not you got drunk or not, I know that when you woke up, you were on top of me too. You raped me too. And a test, a rape kit was done. You know what? I'm gonna come back with my own story. This what you wanted and you're about to get it. I've been quiet for way too long. Addressing the claims made by ex-girlfriend Zaya Abashi on his YouTube channel, the controversial media personality denied the allegations. Everything is transparent. I'm not even hiding and ducking from a situation or ducking from the, um, the narrative that happened. I pretty much told everything. And also I told the truth. Hey, the police came, they looked, we gave them everything. Pretty much everything is documented, caught on videotape. They got to see it with their own two eyes. Not only did they say, act you good. And this is not just word of mouth. This is, you're officially cleared. We could not bring any criminal charges. You are not criminally liable. But also anybody else in the situation um, was also cleared. My only comment should really be whatever this is will be handled in court. Just know that according to the law and according to the police and according to all sanctioning governing authorities, academics is an innocent man who has not ever been charged with anything of the sort that has to do with any deviancy or anything like that has never been charged, will never be charged. That's a fact. So there you have it. Academics double downs on it and maintains his innocence. I got a video that I'm going to link at the end of this video from back in December 23 when I covered this same topic about these allegations. But I want to know what y'all think in the comments. Do y'all think Academics is the new Diddy? Uh, do you think he's innocent? I want to hear what y'all got to say about it below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. God bless and I'm gone.